Good morning. Thank you for joining us today on Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Daniel, and I've been blessed with the opportunity to serve in the college and career ministry. Today, our devotion is going to be entitled Praise, and it's going to be based on the scripture, Acts 16.26. So if you have your Bible, please join me quickly and read Acts 16.26. Acts 16.26 reads, And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. Acts 16.36. I'm going to go ahead and jump in our devotional and I'm going to read it for you. And this is what the devotional says. Don't wait, not a minute. Not a second. Instead, praise God now. If you want, if you and I wait to praise God until after something earth shaking and amazing happens, we've got the wrong order. Praise comes first. You doubt that? Consider the classic praise story in the Bible, the scenario where Paul and Silas, bound in chains in a dungeon of a jail, their bodies bruised and blooded, bloodied by their jailers, still lifted their voices to praise God. And what an odd sound, praise in a jail, sung by two beating, bloodied prisoners. It's not logical. But as the book of Acts records, as they praised God, the earth shook and the prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors flew open and the chains of every prison fell off. Verse 26. Praise is power indeed, but praise comes first. When we are bound up by some situation in the midst of that mess, it's hard to remember that we should praise God first. Not after it's all cleaned up, but while it's happening. That is the proper order of praise. In fact, the word praise, which in Latin means praise, shares a root with the Latin word for preposition. As we recall from grammar lesson at school, a preposition is the word that comes before the main thing. Such words hold the before position, the preposition setting up the main topic. In our spiritual lives, praise sits in that same place. It holds the preposition setting up God's power so it can follow, moving in our hearts and lives. And no prison chains can tie down that power. So don't wait for your chains to fall or your prison walls to crumble. Praise God first and now, despite your circumstances. Praise Him for being God, for His mercy, for His deliverance, for His hope, for His blessing, for His empowering spirit. Then stand back, your prison wall are coming down. Something that worship is a response after the Holy Spirit moves upon them. However, it's the other way around. Quick takeaway from this um, devotion that we just went over. Just think about it for a minute. Paul and Silas in the prison. Okay, They've been beating, they've been bloody, and they have nowhere to turn, but they turn to God. And in the midst of their trials and circumstances, you know what they did? Did they complain? No, they did not complain. Were they crying and wondering, why did I get into this mess? No, they did not do that. Instead, they praised God. They did not just praise God, but they sung unto God. Can you imagine the prisoners that just brought them in? I mean, excuse me, the jailers that just brought them in and looking on these guys and seeing how they are praising our God and worshiping our God in the midst of trials and circumstances were touched. And we know that one of those jailers accepted Christ as his personal savior because of these men's wonderful testimony of praising God in the midst of the circumstances. And quick takeaway again from this, one thing I really stood out to me is do not just praise God in, a, in when things are going too well. Don't just go to God and just praise Him when things are so great. Oh, everything is going so well and smooth in life. Praise God at all times. That means in trials, in circumstances. My favorite Bible verse, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That means when, you, when you're fi in financial situations, that means when you lose your home, you lose your life, whatever it is happening in your life, make sure, don't forget this, Praise God. As Paul and Silas praised God, they shook the whole, I mean, the angels came and we saw that the prison bar was open, the chains was loose, and they walked out of that prison itself. And you could be the same right now. And sometimes, some, right now, some of us today are in a situation where we are so bound down by the circumstances that we forgot to praise God. Maybe all you have to do is just praise God and God's going to lose your chains off of you. And I want to encourage you this, this one thing, to not forget Praise is not just, you know, when we praise him for when good things are happening. 
praise in, in, in tough times. For example, right now we are in a pandemic where the whole world today, they are looking back and forth, looking, trying to figure out this coronavirus. And their hope is in the world and our hope is in God. Yes, that means in this midst of the circumstances, we should praise God for who he is. We should thank him because Bible says that in everything give thanks. Let us give praise to the God most high because he deserves it. He deserves all the praise that we can ever think about. So praise him in this midst of this trial right now we have. And we are staying home, but that means we need to praise God. And I want to encourage you. I want you to be an example of Christ by praising God. Just as Paul and Silas, when they were in the midst of that circumstances, when they praised God, they were a testimony to this jailer. So I want you to do the same thing and be a testimony to the lost, to this world. So when they see you, they don't just see what is on the outside. They see Christ in you, which will bring them towards Christ. And that's the whole purpose of us praising God, is so others can come towards Christ and God can be glorified. Thank you for joining us at this time with this. I'm going to go ahead and pray, and we'll be done. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to learn about you. Thank you so much, Lord, for working in our hearts. Lord, I pray forgive me of my sins and cleanse my mind and my heart's one of righteousness. Lord, help me to give praise to you in every circumstance that I'm in. What am I bound or obeyed, oh Lord? Help me to give you praise. And I pray for everyone here, oh Lord, that are watching, that they reconsider their current situation and give praise to you. Lord, we thank you for all you've done for our lives. We ask all this thing in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us. And come again. We're going to be doing this again, 8.05 live. And I hope to be able to see you here again. Have a blessed day and take care.